you've been living in a dream world. This is the world as it exists today. The world is full of giants. They have always been here. We wait until they get sleepy. Wait until they get so big they can barely move. Then we walk out of the shadows. Quietly walk out of the dark. And strike. We've risked everything to warn you guys about what's coming. At this point, willful ignorance is your own problem. Willful ignorance is just that. It's willful. And if you choose to remain willfully ignorant, you do not get to choose your consequences. This is an appeal, I'm telling you now. Back during the Super Bowl, the Maserati logo, this young lady uh, came out and she starts out and she says, they're a giant. They've always been here. That is a reference to Genesis 6.4. There were giants on the earth in those days and after that. We slowly walk out of the darkness, shows a, them coming out from behind the veil, and then she says, and strike. As soon as the little girl says, and strike, run, there's the Maserati logo. It is a trident. Okay, now, that's where Satan telegraphed what he was going to do, and it started right there. It was, it was so obvious that if you have spiritual eyes, it is ridiculously absurd how obvious it is. That's how it's ridiculous. It's not even it's not even hidden if you have spiritual eyes. There was nothing in that commercial that sold a car. That's all there is to it. It was not meant to sell cars. It was meant to send a cryptic message. So now what's the devil's plan? Well, now we had all of a sudden, a, Mal a missing Malaysian airliner. Well, let me tell you something. Planes don't just disappear. There's black boxes. There's also this transmitter from the Rolls-Royce engines and these things. It was done to show who's in charge. That's why that airliner is missing. Satan is trying to show he's the boss. The missing Malaysian airliner just happened to have on the tail a trident. Command, the word of the day is trident. We have two alien craft on aggressive approach. Icon 4 coming online, accelerating. It looks like it's going to impact somewhere in the South Indian Ocean. Command, the word of the day is trident. We have two alien craft on aggressive approach. Icon 4 coming online. It looks like it's going to impact somewhere in the South Indian Ocean. On the board now. Yes, sir. If that wasn't enough, I discovered 370 again in another scene on top of another bus, the same number, we have 370 popping right at you. Check it out. So we have two clips of 370 popping right at you at the camera. Okay, also, the kicker guys, right here, it says M-I-A, missing in action, M-I-A. 370, the same vehicle. Command, the word of the day is Trident. It looks like it's going to impact somewhere in the South Indian Ocean. There was a Trident on the Malaysian airliner. I said, oh my gosh, something's going on. Dave said, oh my gosh, have you seen the Malaysian flag? Let me tell you something. Here we go. Get ready. The Malaysian flag is identical to the flag of the United States. It has one stripe more. It also has... The blue rectangle, but instead of stars, it has a crescent moon. The crescent moon is the symbol for Islam. It also has a risen sun. A risen sun is the symbol for the Antichrist has risen. In the Quran, it states, the coming of the Mahdi will be preceded by the sun rising over the west. Barack Obama's logo for his campaign. 
is the sun rising over the red and white stripes of the flag of the West, the United States. Please welcome my partner in science and in life, Dr. Will Castor. The path to building superintelligence requires us to unlock the most fundamental secrets of the universe. Imagine a machine with a full range of human emotion. Its analytical power will be greater than the collective intelligence of every person in the history of the world. Some scientists refer to this as the singularity. Professor? I call it transcendence. Will's body is dying, but his mind is a pattern of electrical signals. We can upload his consciousness. Evelyn. Well, oh my God. I can't feel anything. I'm here. It'll start to evolve. Where's the machine? To influence. Perhaps the entire world. Where are you going? Everywhere. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, then you're going to have big trouble. Then we'll have warfare. The only way you can prevent me in this, in this 50 or is to kill me. If you kill me, I'll kill you. God made man in his own image. God intended for man to become one with God. We are going to become one with God. Cloning and the reprogramming of DNA is the first serious step in becoming one with God. This issue is going to dominate our global politics this century. This, this is the issue that will color the century. As we merge with machines, and I think it's inevitable that we will, we will transform into something new. Evolution is a spiritual process. It moves us closer to the ideal of God. I mean, what, what is God? God is described as being unlimited. And we will eventually become an interconnection of the entire human race. And we will become godlike once you plug into that global network. At this moment in our civilization, we can create cybernetic individuals who, in just a few short years, will be completely indistinguishable from us. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, then you're going to have big trouble. If technology could map our minds, what would the biggest breakthrough be? Well, the short-term goal is to cure mental illness. That's why the European Union and President Barack Obama want to spend a billion dollars, a billion dollars to map the brain. But you see, once you map the brain, then you can begin to connect the mind to computers, telepathy, telekinesis, recording memories, uh, photographing dreams, things that you see right in the Hollywood movies will be able to perform. What's the potential time frame for all of this? We can record memories now. Like one of them is the mechanical mismatch between humans and electronics, right? So electronics are boxy and rigid, humans are curvy and soft. That's a mechanical mismatch problem. Well, a researcher at the University of Illinois, his name is Dr. Rogers, and what he did is he founded a company and they started making electronic 
tattoo. So I, I'm wearing one here on my arm. Do we do we have here. a camera to get a? This is a develop. This is a developmental system made by MC10, and it has a, an antenna and some sensors embedded in it. And what we plan to do is work with them to advance a tattoo that could be used for authentication. And that's something that you wear, but you could also imagine including authentication in just your daily habits. So I take a vitamin every morning. What if I could take vitamin authentication? What? Vitamin authentication. Look, I have one right here. Well, here, I'll let you hold it. Mm. Would you like to hold it? I'll hold it. Okay. <laughs> so this... You guys see it? This pill has a small chip inside of it with a switch and it creates an 18-bit ECG-like signal in your body and essentially your entire body becomes your authentication token. Yes, this is true. So it's, it's really true. So what this means is that that becomes my first superpower. I really want this superpower. It means that my arms are like wires, my hands are like alligator clips when I touch my phone, my computer, my door, my car, I'm authenticated in first superpower like I want that this is FDA clear so here's the thing this this is not science fiction that pill has been CE stamped and cleared by the FDA a tattoo that could be used for authentication large enthusiastic crowds have turned out for the first day of mandatory civil registration registration <laughs> any jerk can see they're on their way to a concentration camp Terrans who accept the Neo-Sapien peace will be tolerated in the new world order. Begin your preparations, my knights. The destiny of the new world order will be fulfilled. The destiny of the new world order will be fulfilled. Identification confirmed. Next, step inside. You are under arrest for unauthorized altering of an identification implant. Come with us, rebel. Uh, uh, no, wait. It, it must have been defective. I'm not a rebel. More now of our special coverage here tonight, life in the U.S. in 10 years' time. By that time, there may be all kinds of new ways to safeguard and identify all those things that make each of us unique, our faces, even our fingerprints, even our eyes. Here now with more on the future of technology, NBC's Tom Costello. The year is 2017. You're rushed to a hospital, unconscious with no ID or medical history, but thanks to a microchip under your skin, it's all there. Science fiction 20 years ago, but a biometric reality today. The technology is based on answering one simple question. Am I who I say I am? And at the Jewel Osco grocery store in Chicago, some customers pay using their fingerprints. No paper or plastic. You don't really need anything other than your hand, and you already got that with you. So will future department stores scan our irises, like in the movie Minority Report, then offer products catered to who we are? Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to the Gap. Experts say that technology is here now. Well, NASA calls it a rare celestial event, and for many Christians, the upcoming phenomena dubbed the blood moon signals a supernatural connection to biblical prophecy. Author uh, John Hagee, in his book called Four Blood Moons, evangelical pastor John Hagee writes that this unusual lunar event is foretold in the Bible and signals big changes are in store for mankind. This is a signal that it is going to happen and that... Uh, we on planet Earth have been duly notified by, have, by heaven that a change is about to happen, and we are to get ready for it. It happened in 1492, 1948, and 1967, and now we have a four blood moon series coming that will run from April of this year until September of next year, in which something uh, uh, super is going to occur.